Hey guys, I'm Rebecca Louise and welcome to X Hit. Today we're going to be taking you through a Pilates routine and really focusing on those abs. So let's start by taking it down to the ground. We're going to put our hands over our head and we're going to do a full sit up. So nice and slowly, bringing it up and as you get to the top, we're just going to stretch out those hamstrings and then really gently taking it back down. Now you've got 15 of these guys, so let's go. That's it, really reaching for those toes and nicely slowly down your spine and back up again. Now it's really easy just to rush through these, but you're really going to get those results by taking it nice and slowly. And of course, it's going to be harder too. When you get to about six, you're going to really start to feel it. There's the guys making it really slow down that spine. Back up again. Stretch out those hamstrings. And slowly down. Okay, number six. It's good guys, really try and reach for those toes. Nice, slowly down. And as you get up, each time you're going to be able to just pull a little bit more towards your toes and slowly down. That's the trick is to try and do it as slow as you can. That's it, really just go down each vertebrae at a time. Okay, you're number nine. Keep it going, you've got 15 of these. That's it, nice and slow and controlled. And back down. Go on, just see how slow you can do it. See if you can do it even slower each time. Number 13. Two to go. Come on guys, keep it going. Really improving those abs. Go on really slowly. Give me one more. Go and reach for those toes, hold it, and then really slowly. Come on, as slow as you can. Make it slower, guys. Gently down and relax. And come up to sitting. Now, we're gonna take it into a Russian twist. We all know it's just twisting to each side like this, but we're gonna make it harder. We're gonna extend one leg out, and we're gonna twist to the side, it's opposite our leg, and back to the middle. And you've got 10 of these. Let's keep that back straight. That's one. Keep it going, guys. You start to really feel that leg just wanting to drop. And you can see mine twitching, and that's good. If yours is doing the same, really try and squeeze it there. You've done eight. Give me two more. That's it, guys. OK, switch it to the other side straight away. Extend that left leg up, and let's twist it to the opposite side. You can really see my leg is twitching there. And if yours is doing the same, that's fine. Just really try and keep holding it up. Number six. Eight. Come on, give me two more if you can. That's it, keep that leg up. Last one. Whew, you can feel your legs. Give them a little bit of a, of a wiggle. Okay, we're gonna stay by going onto our backs. We're gonna extend those legs in the air. And we're gonna do a leg drop. So we're gonna take it down and then back up. We're gonna make it harder. We're gonna hold our hands out like this, okay? So you've got 15. Taking it down nice and slowly. That's it. And the reason that we are just bringing our arms up and down and just pulsing them, just to make it that little bit harder. Because when we tend to have our arms flat, we tend to grip on the ground. That's it, keep it going. Now, of course, if you do need to modify it and you are finding this too difficult, you can just put your arms down to the side. But if you think you can do it by pulsing, let's keep going. You're number seven. You really feel it in those ab muscles. It's really good for those lower abs too. We often get this little pouch over our trousers. This is gonna get rid of it. Keep it going, guys. Oh, you've just got five more to go. Keep those legs extended. And pulse those arms up and down. Four to go. Come on, stay with me. And three. 
I said, guys, you want to keep going? You're going to have 15 of these. You've just got one more to go. Bring it all the way down and back up again. Oh, you can feel your legs switching. Okay. Now this one is a little bit strange. I'm going to call it get-ups. And think about it, you're just going to be standing up. So I want you to extend both legs in front. Take one leg and just put it behind you. Just tuck it under, under your thigh. And we're going to go down. And I want you to just, as you come, you're going to stand, using those abs to come up, and then using the legs to stand up. And then exactly the same leg goes back behind, and it lies back down again. So as if you're just going to get up. We've got 10 on each leg. Arms extended, and stand. Now keep making sure that you're breathing the whole time you're doing these exercises. You really feel that your heart rate is coming up nice and slowly down. And coming up to standing. Excellent job, everybody. Just stay, we're just gonna be getting those abs ready for bikinis or our swimming trunks. Keep it coming, the guys, nice and slowly. Okay, you're halfway there on this leg. Keep it going, nice and slow. Now your body's gonna wanna use more momentum each time, so just really thinking about engaging those abs as you come up. Make everyone count. Keep it going, you've done seven. Slowly down, I know it's tempting to get them done really fast, but we wanna make sure that we're doing it properly. Our technique is correct. Okay, give me two more. Slowly down. And then the last one. You can feel my abs working, guys. I hope yours are too. And guess what? We've got to swap onto the other leg. So let's take that other leg back. Coming down. Now you're going to find that one of your legs is probably more flexible than the other. That's completely normal. Come up to standing. And we've got 10 of these on this leg too. Nice and slow. You can definitely feel the burn now, guys. Keep up the good work. We're going to keep improving those ab muscles. All the way back. Go on, use those abs to pull you up. Push down to your legs. Okay, this is number five. That means you're halfway there. Come on, don't stop until you've finished. All the way to number 10. All the way to standing. And all the way back down. Just think, every time you're sitting down on the floor, you can just do a get up. And you're improving your abs every single time. Okay, you've got two more after this one. Nice and slowly back. And give me one more. Now let's take this one really, really slow. Pulling it back. And there you have it, your get ups. Okay, coming onto your front. Now we're gonna do, it's like almost as if you're doing mountain climbers, but we're gonna really slow it down. So it's almost, you want to be on your plank like you would, and we're just going to bring a knee in at a time, hold it here for five seconds, and then swap to the other side. And we've got it for a whole minute. So let's take that right leg in for five, four, three, two, one, and then we're going to swap it onto the other side again for five, four, three, two, one. That's it, you got the hang of it. You can count it and breathe. Two, one. Swap it over to that left leg. That's it. It's really important this one to keep breathing. Swap it onto the other leg. Really engage those abs, guys. And swap it again. That's it, guys. Now, this one's hard. It's difficult. Everyone finds planks difficult. But if you can do this one, you're on your way to a six pack. And let's swap over again. Okay, keep it going. 
Just got 20 seconds of these to go. Two, one. Keep it going, guys. And let's just do five seconds left on each leg. Hold it here. Two, one, and your last. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. If you manage to get through that one. Okay, stay in this similar position. We're going to go into a down dog. But we're going to be on our arms as if they're a plank. So just get onto that nice position, get comfortable. And then I just want you to extend one leg out at a time. So just like that, keep that toe nice and straight. And we're just going to do 10 lifts on each side, okay? So keep that stomach pulled in and let's take it up for 10. You really got to support on that other leg too. Now try not to take it up too high, otherwise you're going to twist and it's going to hurt, harm your balance, okay? So just keep it here. Keep it going halfway through. Give me five more. Three, two, that's it. Give me one more and let's switch over to that other leg. So get comfortable again. Point that toe and extend up. That's it, squeeze those stomach muscles. You can also feel it in those glutes too. Four, five, come on, you're halfway. Four to go. That's it, squeeze those abs. Give me two more, come on. Last one, make it count, slowly down. And come to your knees. Oh, you can really feel that one. Now, your last exercise is the lunge clock. It just makes it a little bit more fun. So we're going to start off just going forwards, taking it out to the diagonal, 130, out to the side, three, and so on. We're going to go all the way around, clockwise and anti-clockwise. Let's go. That's it, guys. Out to the side. And six of the clock to the back, and then we're going to switch legs. Take it back again to the diagonal and to the side. As it squeeze those glutes as you come in and to the front. And now let's get go back the other way. Last time, guys. Come on, keep it going. This is super good for your balance too. That's it, taking it back to six o'clock. And the other leg, let's switch over. Just half a clock to go. Out to the side. At 1.30 again. And midnight. And you're finished. Okay, gives those legs and arms a shake. Well, that's your Pilates routine. X here has got plenty more workout videos for you, so why don't you take a look? Subscribe to the channel. My name's Rebecca Louise. You can follow your trainer on Twitter at The Model Pilot. Make sure you come back again next time.